So now we are going to talk about the reasons why the earthquake comes ok. So what we are going to talk about we will be talking about the cause or reason cause of earthquake. Okay, so you know there are very uh, funny stories behind the earthquakes you know actually in the olden days uh, when it was not known like why does it happen, why does it occur. Now people used to in some part of the country uh, world I should say not country in some part of the world the people used to believe that earth is there on the head of the bull on the horn of the bull ok. And when the bull get tired and shifts the earth on the another horn then the earthquake comes is not it so funny very very funny is not it. So this like many stories are there I just uh, I, I discussed only one but many um, stories are there uh, which uh, or we can say the belief of the people which was there when the reasons of the uh, this natural phenomenon was not known. But now it is very very clearly known why does it happens is not it. So, so why does it happen we have just now read the structure of the earth ok. So when we talk about the crust ok when we talk about the earth crust earth crust is made up of many fragments many plates ok. There are many plates which are uh, there in the earth crust or many plates constituent the constituents uh, many plates make the earth crust ok sometimes it happens you know ok. So now this plates you know when they uh, and one thing which I discussed earlier children that earthquake are uh, like it occurs like it is very common it occurs every now and then ok. Why does it occur student because the place which I am talking about ok the crust is made up of different different like many plates. Now these plates they move ok with these plates move then why do not we feel the movement of the plates because these, these plates they move with a very very slow speed you know maybe around a few centimeters in the year only few centimeters in the air but these moves ok these plates they move ok. These plates move and uh, what I am telling you that that is the reason uh, whenever the plates move collision is there ok they get stuck to some place. So this is a very natural thing which, ha which keeps on uh, which, uh, which you know which is happening inside the surface of the earth but still we do not know we do not understand because the jerks are not there the intensity of the jerks are not there ok very slight movement very soft movement very soft jerks which is not even uh, recognized by us ok. That is the reason we do not understand that earthquake has come and has gone also we do not know about that ok. Now so what I was talking about I was saying that these plates they move ok. When two plates they are moving they come across each other now there is no place to move is not it. So the friction occurs and that is the reason why the motion stops are you getting it clear two plates ok two plates are moving one from this side and one from this side. Now when the two plates move it is moving this side it is moving this side so a position will come when there will be no place to move is not it there will be no gap between each other when this two will collide there will be friction ok. Friction will be created over here and due to this friction this both will stop because there is no place to move it will stop is not it. You know sometimes what happen the the ages the ages get logged the ages get logged and it is the place where the force is built up the energy is built up because you know now this force is built up due to which it has to move somewhere ok it has to move. Now in normal they were just slide past they were just moving they were just sliding normally very easily very softly very smoothly but 
when the collision is there when there is no place to move then what happen then jerks can be there ok then what is there then jerks can be there now when this collision is very big ok when this collision is very big and when lot of force is being created inside when lot of force is created inside then we can feel earthquake ok now why because this can be felt if the more jerks are there are you getting my point what I am telling earth crust is made up of lots of plates ok many plates are there many plates are there these all plates are moving very softly easily they are moving hmm? now so sometimes they collide even the collision uh, collision is so slow that even we do not understand but sometime the edges get logged there is no place to move even an inch hmm? and the pressure is getting built up from the inner surface of this part ok the pressure is getting built up now the pressure is there and so this, this plate has to move somewhere and so the jerk is there and if the jerk is more then this can be felt ok by the by human beings by the creatures who are there on the surface of the earth so first of all we will we'll discuss this thing later on first of all we will just keep on writing along with the explanation so then it becomes easy ok so the first point the crust is made up of many fragments or plates ok the earth crust is made up of many fragments or plates these plates are not static what is the meaning of static children means not stationary ok it moves continuously static and it moves or slides continuously ok but how is the movement children the movement is very very slow but as the movements or as the motion of the plates movement is also correct huh? nothing wrong in the movement also it is also correct but but as the motion of these plates are but as the motion of these plates is very slow it cannot be felt ok or is there are daily the collision is there and like it is the common thing it is almost a part of the uh, you know it happens daily but it cannot be felt because the collision is very very small ok now fourth point whenever the plate goes under another plate some disturbance is created in the crust which leads to earthquake which leads to earthquake ok. So, what I have written over here I have written over here the cause of earthquake what is that the crust is made up of many fragments of plates 
these plates are not static that means it is not stationary these are moving continuously and it moves or slides continuously. But as the motion of these slides are like it is very very less and so it cannot be felt. Now whenever the plate goes under the another plate okay whenever one plate goes under the another plate then some disturbance is created due to which the earthquake can be felt or it occurs ok. Now, I will just in this now fifth point in this the tremendous energy tremendous energy is created ok. Now, see now we will talk this is the cause why the earthquakes are there why does it happens ok this is the reason why does it happens. Now what is the other point now there is a point in the surface now see if I draw ok just a part of this now the part where the force is created ok the part where the force is created ok somewhere suppose it is created here here this is the surface of the earth ok now somewhere the force is created in the inner part of the earth try to understand the point where the force is created in the inner side of the earth or in the surface of the earth ok a point where the ok the point where the force is created the point from where the I will just mark it from the point from where the vibration starts ok vibration starts or the pressure starts is called as force this is where in the inner surface of the earth in the inner surface of the earth see this is the surface of the earth this is the inner part of the earth now this is the point ok in the inner surface this is the point where the vibration has started this is the point from where the disturbance starts or has started ok this point from where the first time the disturbance started is known as what force are you getting it clear. So, how can we define it children the place from where the vibration originate is called the so the point from where the vibration starts is called as I have written for force here it will be focus ok. Hmm. So, the point from where ok the point from where the vibration has started the point from where the disturbance has started in the inner surface of the earth is known as focus is known as what focus what I am talking I am talking about the inner surface of the earth ok. When a point will be there from where the vibration has started from where the pressure has built up from where the force has built up ok. So, the point from where the vibration starts so the force build up ok that point is known as focus that point is known as that's, that point is known as focus ok. So, now the point from where the vibration starts is called as focus this is full stop over in the inner surface of the earth is the bracket closed ok. Now, now vertically upwards this is what this is our inner surface ok this is our inner surface of the uh, the surface of the earth ok. Now, this vertical point if you take it vertically upwards ok on the surface of the earth then here if we take focus the point of the focus vertically upwards then this point ok on the surface of the earth 
what i am talking what i am saying children when the focus is taken vertically upwards okay so the point this focus vertically upwards on the surface of the earth is known as epicenter okay it is known as what it is known as epicenter please try to understand these two things children this is the surface of the earth this is crust are you getting it clear if it is clear this is the surface of the earth okay or likewise now this is the upper surface where we are standing now somewhere here if the fo the force has originated the vibration has originated okay so that part in the inner surface of the earth where the force has originated or vibration has originated or the pressure has developed that is known as what it is known as focus now the focus if the focus point is taken vertically upwards then it is known as what epicenter okay now if the distance but like this is the point this is a epicenter now the intensity of the earthquake will decrease as the distance from the epicenter will decrease see now suppose this is mumbai the epicenter is in mumbai okay means below that the force has originated the focus is here this is mumbai now this is epicenter now if it is one part of mumbai only okay if the this is one part of mumbai only then the uh, effect will be there but if i am talking about rajasthan or say gujarat if i talk about okay which is nearby to mumbai but the distance from this epicenter to this has increased now so the effect cannot be felt isn't it if a house is there if a house is here which is very near to the epicenter then the what the destruction will be there the effect of the earthquake will be felt okay uh, the damage will be there but if the distance from the epicenter increases then obviously what will what will be decreased the effect will be decreased the intensity will be decreased the destruction won't be there isn't it so we have written we have discussed the definition of focus the point from where the vibration is that is called as focus now i'll write the definition of epicenter how can it be written that when the focus is taken vertically upwards okay then it is known as what epicenter i'll just i'll have to rub this or else i can write also i can write in short the point vertically abu focus is epicenter okay so on the surface of the earth that point will be known as what epicenter if the distance with the epicenter increases uh, then what the um, what will happen the damage will decrease and before i said what decrease or what see this is mumbai this is gujarat the distance is what increase okay distance is increase and so the vibrations cannot be felt over here because distance is too much now this is a place which is very near to the epicenter distance is very less distance is decreased if the distance is decreasing i said something ulta over there so that distance is decreasing then what will happen children the damage will be more the destruction will be more but if the distance is increasing one point the epicenter is in mumbai and the effect if you want to check in gujarat then what will happen the effect will be negligible it will be not as much as the it can be negligible it cannot be felt also and when we talk about the areas near the epicenter if the distance is what very less then the effect will be more okay if the distance is less then the effect will be more if distance from epicenter increases then the effect will be decreased okay this is very simple to understand now so please note these things now we'll talk about the another topic after this